Hey guys, so just a quick little um update thing. Uh I just got a message from someone or a comment um saying that uh YouTuber star Nick Cattle Avocado's husband is confirmed. So this is where it was confirmed. Now this apparently is not Orland's actual account. Apparently Orland doesn't have Instagram. Now his first post 22 weeks ago. Keep in mind, Orlin has been doing this for about three years now. Uh, if you go to his videos and scroll down, he's been doing it for about three years. So on his fa um his actual real YouTube channel, he's got almost 300,000 subscribers. And here he has 662. Why would they be posting on an account which hardly anyone follows? I mean, this is not nearly as big as this. So why would they be posting on here? Now, even other people are calling it, um, calling it out. We have one person says, this is not a real account. Orlin is not on Instagram. Do not engage or follow. This person is taking advantage of Nick's current YouTube hiatus to troll. Um... <laughs> Orlin. This is not Orlin's account. Fake account. If you are the real Orlin, change your official Twitter bio. Still says husband to Nick Akato. Um. But you have a lot of people saying, yeah, this isn't real. Um. This is not a real account. Sorry, I don't believe you guys. Let's see. Another breakup arc. I'll actually go to the other one. Uh, the video that I was talking about. But yeah, this... Unless Orlin comes out and directly says, oh, hey, yeah, this is what's been happening. This this account, it, it's, I mean, just because you put real in the name doesn't mean, make it real. Considering Orland doesn't apparently have one, it's not hard for the faker to make one called Orland Home Real because Orland doesn't have one. Nothing is registered under Orland's name. So to say Orland Home Real, so... Like I told the person, take this with a huge bag of salt, not just a grain, because Orlin apparently doesn't have uh, Instagram, and what he and on the the stuff on his actual channel is just stuff for Nick, just for his merch. But um, please go to the video that I was talking about uh, this week. Um, where is it? Yeah, the acquitted mukbang. And I'll, apparently someone said that someone, um, whoever, we don't know if it's the person who made the video, but apparently someone went in and changed the inspect um, element. You can, like, erase things and put new stuff. And then once you re um, redo the page, it, you know, clears. That is the same thing that happens with, uh, like, um, scammers. With um, They'll go in there and change things on like people's bank accounts and stuff to make it seem like something but then once you refresh the page it's normal again actually what do people say to mine <laughs> yeah that's right they're like oh shit here we go again <laughs> i thought i had to um next one of the biggest trolls on the internet he deleted it from his patreon this is not proof, it's fake lies. I'm a member and that's not on there. Scam. 100% troll. Clickbait. I cannot believe I clicked on this video. Now I'm leaving a comment. It <laughs> quitted. Um. It <laughs> quitted. Nice editing. I believe you, but not him. Call for attention. I didn't know quitted was a word. 
Acquitted isn't a word. <laughs> the past tense of quit is quit. Quitted is not a word. I went to his channel to see his Patreon. It says the last post was in June. Yeah. Last post was June 30th. Go check out his Patreon. Why do I feel that this go check out his Patreon video? Check out his Patreon videos. Is Nick's ploy to get more subscriptions to it? Not really. Yeah, I quitted Mukbang. So people are saying that this is bullshit. You're just as bad as Nick. Yeah, again, the person who showed this um, said that this was, um, or someone told me that this was like, um, actually, let me find the comment. Um, content, let me just go straight to the comments. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Uh, I follow his Patreon. He never posted that because we would have gotten an email. Whoever did that photoshopped it. Um, and then there was another one. Um, I think the video thing is in Patreon is photoshopped. If you look above, it says 234 videos, but it also says 234 videos, even with the video gone. Uh, let's use, let's use logic. How many times this next? Yeah. Well, I pretty much want to know who faked it. Um, yeah, there's a lot of people posting clickbait me. I'm just trying to figure out one. I want to know if, uh, this person faked it or, um, let's see. Somebody just inspect elemented that and change the title and upload date of his latest upload the black thumbnail and colored thumbnail below exact same amount of comments likes etc if it, if it was a real thing a uh, real thumbnail below would have been wouldn't below would have been black his actual last upload uh, appreciate the update though it's one of the most incredible stories on youtube if he lost all that weight imagine he get he's getting weight loss surgery and comes back in a few months yeah um was that anything was there anything else uh i think it was inspected judging by the number of likes and comments we had liposuction Uh, look at the comments and likes on both of your videos and his. They're both the same. It has to be edited. It's obviously a Photoshop. Same number of comments. It's so obviously fake. Yeah, so don't believe any of the, the, the fake stuff. I'm not coming out here saying, oh, yeah, he's dead. He's this. He's that. I'm just providing fact or uh, evidence that's being provided. Like I said, for this. If it is real, I will retract what I said and make a video and say, yep, this is actually his. But given the fact that he has on his official YouTube channel, he's got over 300,000 subscribers. He made this 20, this one is made from 22 weeks ago and he only has 600 followers and he decides to post updates to this and not his actual YouTube account where he has more people. It's kind of sus. Um, you know, people aren't buying it. You know, you have all these people like, oh, yeah, who's that guy? That guy looks awfully familiar. Um, Like this, like Nick, uh, Nick Avocado, Avocado quit. No one says that he quit. Who said that he quit? He's gone right now. No one knows where he is or for what reason. He's apparently doing cameos. So he hasn't quit, quit. Um, But you have... So this person's probably talking about the freaking um you uh the Patreon thing which can't be trusted. 
has officially quit mukbang so that's the one we watched so you have all these people who are looking at the fake stuff and i'm saying do not believe the fake stuff hi sam hi don't believe the fake stuff instead believe sam Yeah. Sam, should everyone believe you instead? Yeah? Should we believe you instead? Sam says yeah. Come here. But I'm not trying to clickbait anyone. I'm just providing what we see so when it comes to the stuff about orlin uh and his account don't believe it apparently orlin doesn't have one and again 600 followers compared to two almost 300,000 followers on his um or subscribers on his uh youtube account why would he post it here you're not going to post something on somewhere where not that many people are going to see it especially when it's as big as this where everyone is wondering where Nick is, why would you post it to where anyone, somewhere where no one's going to see it? So. Um. I love how, like, all the, like, Nick stuff. Yes, I have glasses on. You know, it's but you go to Instagram. Nothing. Still. Go to TikTok. Still nothing. What about Cameo? Has he posted anything yet? Or not posted, but um Let's see, nineteen days now. Let's see. Three days ago. Go to channels. Nope. Nope. Um. But yeah, like I said, just don't believe everything that you're seeing on the internet about Nick. Um, when you see videos saying he's dead, don't believe that. If he was dead, we would have known about it. Like I said, Orlin lives with Nick. So he would have been the first to find out. And then his parents would have found out. And then parents would have been talking. And then people would have been talking to the freaking news and this and that. And, you know, out, uh, media outlets online. And every outlet under the sun would have fucking written an article about him being dead. There's nothing. So anyone who truly believes he's dead, I've got a bridge I like to sell you. Um, the best thing we can hope for is that you know, he is losing weight, but as I've said before many times already, if I were him, I would use this period, even if he's not losing weight, just to, you know, use this time to just stir up uh, some drama, or not drama, but interest in his channel. Because, you know, the guy posts every day, and then suddenly, poof, he stops. But we know he hasn't stopped completely because he's still doing cameos. So why cameos and not YouTube or TikTok or Instagram? So, but just, just, just don't believe everything. I'm not saying everything I'm saying is fact. I'm just saying I'm talking about what we're provided. Really? Really? Want to come over? Or not? Whatever. Anyways, yeah, I just wanted to provide uh, provide that because I've been getting a lot of people saying, "Oh, well, he, you know, Orlin said here and this and that." It's like apparently it's fake. And if it comes out and he says, "Oh yeah, it's real," I retract what I all you know what I've said here and say, "Yep, that's his real profile." Until then, it seems like everyone agrees it's fake. So.
Anyways, that's going to do it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.